Today, we'll be taking apart this 2017 Mercedes-Benz C-Class LED headlight. All of the mounting tabs on this headlight are broken. The lens is scratched, cracked in a couple places, and inside corners broken, and it has more damage, so it's not worth salvaging. There's not any useful parts left of it. So I'm going to disassemble it and remove the projector out as well as the wiring harness. So I'll kind of walk you through disassembling this so you can see where the screws are and how to pull this apart if you're trying to disassemble this yourself so you can kind of get a, a heads up of what you're going to run into. Normally we would use a headlight baking method to heat the headlight and heat up this glue to pull the lens off but in this case I don't want to put this thing back together so I'm just going to come through with a saw and cut the lens off. So the first thing that we need to do is get a small flathead screwdriver and we're going to go around and pop off this, this seal. And there's about four places around the headlight where you can see the seal has little tabs on and you just take your screwdriver and just pop it off. And you can feel where they're at if you just give it a tug. And then like that, the seal came off and you can see that the seal's broken as well. So more scraps. The next step is to go around the headlight and find all of these black metal tabs and remove them. These metal tabs were used during the initial manufacturing process to help hold the body and lens together while the glue dried. So again, take your same small flathead screwdriver and you just want to get underneath and on one side and just lift up and it pops right off. This one had about four on it. I think five or six is about normal. And then the next step, if you have the both metal tabs, this one's broken and missing this one, but the second one is here. You want to remove this. So um, again, take your flathead screwdriver, you pop this up, and then it should just slide right on out. And then, and then there should be two of these, but like I said, the other one is missing. So set that aside if you're going to be reassembling it because you'll need to put that back later. And I have the lens cut here, so I'm getting ready to remove it. Um, I find it easier to remove the lens from the outside corner rather than the inside corner. Um, there's the LED light that runs down here, it tends to make it harder to pull it out in this direction. It's easier to come from the side corner. Okay, so here we have the light without the lens. And around this black bezel, you're gonna find a few T20 Torx screws again. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the, the ones on the black, in the black area. So up here on this top corner, you need to remove this one. After you, after you remove this one here on this outer black piece, you're going to need to go ahead and lift that up. And there's actually another 
one directly underneath. And then the last one is this bottom corner. Okay, so that has the, the black bezel pretty much free. Uh, the only thing of note now, this is the, the hard tricky part. I'm gonna have to remove these two. Now that the two are removed from the chrome area, you can go ahead and give this a small pull and it will separate. And there is another T20 torque screw that is back here behind all of this. It is attached to the white piece that you see here. So you, you can take this chrome piece off, but it is rather difficult there's plastic tabs that that hold this in place once it's pushed through the black trim and let me show you that removing it is not exactly easy but with this out So here you can see the tab that holds this outer chrome trim in place inside of this black one. So with that removed, tab removed, you can lift this out of the way. So there you can see the T20 screw that's holding the rest of this in place. That's the one that needs to be removed once this chrome trim is out of the way. So now I'm gonna remove that T20 screw with my long driver here. Okay, I got that T20 screw removed. Okay. And then here you can see that there's another T20 screw holding this upper assembly to the housing and this one is going to need to be removed for the for all of this trim to come away we need to remove this plastic tube from this gray plastic holder So now we have that free. Now we should be able to just slide this whole bezel forward. So we have the bezel free. There is a wire harness here on the top. So you just release that. And then there's one more wire harness right here on the outside corner that you'll have to, to get released. Okay. So now we have the, the bezel and the upper LEDs completely free. Okay, so now we have the projector 
the LED high beam, and the rest of the inside. So let me bring this in. So on the, the high beam, it is held in by three of these little plastic push-on tabs. So there's gonna be one, two, and then there's a third one on the bottom. And you can either try to, you can either try to use a screwdriver to pop this off and gently pull it free, or I just tend to find that it's easier for me to just grab it and pull it. Okay, so the first one's free. So now I'll bring my hand over. All right, so that, that got all three loose. And as you probably heard, there was a few plastic pieces that went falling, but I'm not particularly worried about saving these. So now there's one little wire harness on the back here. So go ahead and unclip that and the high beam is now free. Now that we have the, the high beam free, the low beam is gonna be held in by this bracket. So we just need to remove these two T20 screws. Now that we have the high beam out, the low beam projector is held on by this mount here, which is held on just by these two T20 screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. The low beam projector on the outside is held on by just this little clip. So all you need to do is take a flathead screwdriver and slide it in and pop it out. And that side will be free. Now the bottom mount here has two screws that actually face towards the front of, this, of the headlight. So that's gonna be this this white piece you see here, there's a screw here and here. So we have to slide this whole assembly out. Normally you would release the plastic tabs on this and push the center forward, but you can see that this one's already broken. So it's gonna, it's gonna slide forward for us. So, so now I need to come down here and there is a T T20 screw right here that needs to be removed. With the T20 screw out of the way, we now need to remove this right side, which will be towards the outside of the headlight if you're working on a right side headlight. But we need to remove the, the one towards the outside of the vehicle. We need to remove this metal plastic, this metal tab holding onto this plastic drive screw. As you can see, this is just a metal retaining clip. So all you need to do is pop it off. With that metal retainer out of the way, we can now slide this bottom piece forward. And that'll come out. And then from here, we can release the wire harness. And with that wire harness removed, we now have the, the low beam projector freed. So now here you can see the, you can now see the two T20 screws that 
hold this mount into place. At this point, we just need to remove this wire harness. So there's gonna be three more T20 screws to do this. We're gonna start off with the one here in the center of this circuit board. And then there's gonna be one right here on the white plastic wire harness runner. And then one more back here. Okay. And the final thing that we need to do is come back to the rear connector. And we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and on the left and right side is just a flat tab. So you just wanna take your screwdriver, push in with it, and then use your thumb to push in on the connector. And then on the other side, we're gonna do the same. And then it's going to slide right into the headlight housing, at which point we can pull. And we now have the, the internal wire harness removed. So there you go, there is complete disassembly of the C-Class LED headlight. I hope you find something in here useful. Thank you for watching.